He says, I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. How weak. When he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak from himself. But what things shall he hear, that shall he speak, and he shall declare unto you the things that are to come. He shall glorify me. Eight masculine pronouns in one verse. I say, it ill befits a ghost. You agree? That is a man, a man, a man. Holy Quran says, Wa is qala Isa bin Maryam. Says, Behold, Jesus, the son of Mary, said, Ya ban Israel, O children of Israel, inni Rasulullah ilaykum. So, most certainly, I am the messenger of God sent to you all. Musaddiqan lima bayna yadaya min at Tawrati. Confirming the revelation which came before me. Wa musaddiqan. مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَا يَدَيَا مِنَ التَّوَاتِ وَمُبَشِّرًا بِرَسُولِ يَأْتِي مِنْ بَعْدِ اسْمُهُ أَحْمَدِ I'm giving you glad tidings of a messenger to come after me whose name shall be Ahmad which is another name for Muhammad Muhammad and Ahmad are synonymous terms that is what the Quran tells us but Christian says look it's not in my book it's not here there's no Ahmad and there's no Muhammad so you are left with no alternative but to analyze what is there. You see, they have a verses in the Bible, in the Gospel of St. John, chapter 16, where it says, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, Jesus said. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I go, I will send him. And when he is come, he will convict the world in respect of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Of sin because they believe not in me and on and on. He says, if I don't go, the comforter will not come unto you. We say that comforter is Muhammad. They says, no, Jesus didn't say Muhammad. He said comforter. We are asking, did Jesus speak English? Did he say comforter? He says, no. He spoke Hebrew. That's his mother tongue. Then he said, what did he say? We haven't got it. In other languages, in the Arabic language, nearest to Hebrew, he used the word Mu'azzi. I said, did you speak Arabic? He says, no. I said, what did he say? In Afrikaans, the word there is Truasta. I said, did you speak Afrikaans? He says, no. Said, what did he say? In Zulu, he says, um, I said, did you speak Zulu? You're Jesus. He says, no. I said, what did he say? In 2,000 different languages, you can buy the Bible today. 2,000. And in 2,000 different languages, there are 2,000 different names. What did he say? Did he say, Muasi? Did he say, Comforter? Did he say, Truster? Did he say, um, What did he say? The Quran says, he said, Ahmad, which is another name for Muhammad. But since you have lost the term, the name is lost. No sense in me pushing it down the throat. He said, look, it was Ahmad, another name for Muhammad. Now what we have to do is to reason. We have to deduce. Reason with them. Our Christian brothers and sisters, reason. You say it is the comforter. Who is the comforter? They say, the comforter is the Holy Ghost. They say, the comforter is the Holy Ghost. So they'll ask you, is Muhammad a ghost? He says, no. So it can't be Muhammad. Jesus makes it a condition that if I don't go, he won't come. But if I go, I will send him. So if it is the Holy Ghost, we are suggesting that, look, the Holy Ghost was long before Jesus was with the people. According to your Bible, in the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 1, we are told that Elizabeth had the Holy Ghost. What it means, I don't know. But she had it. Before Jesus was born, the Holy Ghost was there. It tells us again that Zechariah had the Holy Ghost. What that means, I don't know. It also says that John the Baptist, Yahya alayhi salam, they call him John. Yahya, we say Yahya. He had the Holy Ghost from his mother's womb before he was born. The Holy Ghost was with him in his mother's womb inside. What he was doing inside there, I don't know. But it was there. Look, look, this is what the Bible says. 
Jesus, when he was preaching and healing, he said, I, by the Spirit of God, do these things. I, by the finger of God, cast out devils. Spirit of God is that Holy Ghost. Did the Holy Ghost help him in his ministry? He said, yes. Help him to do, perform miracles? He said, yes. Did the Holy Ghost help his disciples? He said, yes. When they went out on the mission of preaching and healing, with whose help were they preaching and healing, if not with the help of the Holy Ghost? So the Holy Ghost was with Elizabeth, was with Zechariah, with John the Baptist from his mother's womb, was with Jesus, was with the disciples. So it makes no sense to say that if I don't go, he won't come. Condition. But if I go, I will send him. Is something other than the Holy Ghost. And it's simple, basic. Now, how can Muhammad, we can say that this Muhammad. Let's see. The same chapter, verse 7, it says, I have yet many things to say unto you. But he cannot bear them. Ah, how be it? When he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak from himself. But what things shall he hear, that shall he speak, and he shall declare unto you the things that are to come. He shall glorify me. Eight masculine pronouns in one verse. I say, it ill befits a ghost. You agree? That is a man, a man, a man, a man. Eight times. There is not another verse in the whole Bible with eight masculine pronouns or eight feminine gender or eight neuter genders. There isn't. This is a unique verse for a unique personality, Muhammad. But we are told it's a spirit. Is Muhammad a spirit? I say yes. That's what your Bible says. You see, every time the word spirit is used in your Bible, I'm telling the Christian, it doesn't stand for the Holy Ghost. Because in the book of Revelation, the last book of the Bible, it, we are told that seven spirits of God went out into the world. I say, you believe in seven Holy Ghosts? He says, no, there's only one Holy Ghost. I said, look, it's seven spirits. It means should be seven Holy Ghosts. No, spirit doesn't stand for Holy Ghost every time. Then in the same John, chapter 5, verse 4, he says, Believe not every spirit. But try the spirits whether they are of God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. False prophet is a false spirit. True prophet is a true spirit. Saint John is using spirit for a prophet. Don't believe every spirit. Don't believe in every prophet. The spirit, it says, that confesseth that Jesus is the Christ is of God. It means a prophet that says that Jesus is the Christ, is the Messiah, the Messiah is from Allah. That's what John says. I said, well, find out whether this spirit, this prophet, Muhammad, does say that Jesus is the Christ. Open Surah Ali Imran, chapter 3, verse 45. It says, وَإِذْ قَالَتِ الْمَلَائِكَةُ يَا مَرْيَمُ So behold, the angel said, O Mary, إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُبَشِّرُكِ بِكَلِمَةٍ مِّنْهُ That Allah gives you glad tidings of a word from him. إِسْمُهُ الْمَسِيحِ His name will be the Messiah. Translated Christ. Muhammad said, is he the Christ? Yes. That's what every Muslim believes. On the testification of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, 1,000 million Muslims of the world, they believe that Jesus is the Christ. He says, the spirit that confesses, the prophet that says that Jesus is the Christ is of God. Why don't you apply this to Muhammad? Jesus says, I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. So this spirit, this Holy Ghost, if it's a Holy Ghost, every church and denomination claims it. Everybody has it. All those cults that he mentions in his books, you read them, he says, look, the, every cultist says he's got the spirit. Who? The Holy Ghost. Everybody's got it. And they're all going in different directions. So one spirit taking you all into opposite directions from God? No. I have yet many things to say unto you. Many in English is more than one. At least you understand that English. I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. How be it? When he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. All is also more than one. I'm asking my Christian brethren for the past 40 years. I don't want many solutions. Give me one. That the Holy Ghost gave you in 2000 years. One. Something that Jesus Christ had not already told you in so many different words. Any church, any denomination, bring me one new thing that the Holy Ghost gave you.